The next frontier, whether we like it or not, is going to be the development of intimacy between humans and technologies. Humans are developing relationships with AI. That same relationship with a robot can be much more visceral. If you have a relationship with a chatbot, you never actually see it. But with robots, you can literally have a physical embodiment. You can also have it any way you want it to look. That physical interaction can lead to a lot more emotional interaction than just an AI chatbot. If I want you to use your autonomous vehicle, I'm going to design it to establish some intimate relationship, which you know, there are different types of intimacy. We're aware of sexual intimacy, but there's also emotional intimacy. And we look at Siri and other devices like that. They try to be soft on the edges and all that's designed for a reason to sort of let your guard down to make you feel comfortable. All designers we want people to use the technology and to rely on it, right? In a deep and meaningful way, this intimate relationship can become invaluable to getting people to feel comfortable using the technology. But what happens when you develop an emotional bond, let's say with a robot, then the robot is no longer upgraded or considered to be usable. So if you have a robot that you really develop a relationship with and then the manufacturer decide that it's going to phase it out, for a lot of people that can be a very traumatic event akin to losing a loved one or a pet.